men who handle the guns, the bombs, the torpedoes, the men who supply the deadly punch of the Navy air arm are aviation ordnancemen. Among their important duties is that of bore sighting the guns on planes, correcting any errors that have developed in the alignment of the gun. Traveling at tremendous speeds, planes such as this fighter develop vibration, and vibration throws the gun's aim out of adjustment. In the same way that an auto's headlights are adjusted, the wing guns are aligned using targets on the wall. The plane is sighted on a mark before the guns in its wings are bore sighted on a target. An aviation ordnanceman now uses the bore sight telescope on the wing gun to adjust and bring the gun into perfect alignment with the target. The sight is adjusted so that the guns will fire where aimed. A chief or first class ordnanceman is usually entrusted with this duty for his experience is a required asset here. These machine guns can fire up to 800 rounds a minute if properly maintained. The disassembly cleaning and reassembly operation is one that aviation ordnance men must be able to do blindfolded. Every fifth cartridge fed into the belting machine's tray is a red-nosed tracer bullet. From here, they will move through the machine to emerge in a belt for the machine gun. Links fed into the machine serve to hold the cartridges in a continuous belt. The ammunition will leave these magazines much faster than it is being placed in them. The belted ammunition is now on its way to where it'll do the most good. Aviation ordnance men do not always work under conditions as ideal as these. Aboard a pitching carrier's deck, alongside an airfield deep in a wet jungle, or freezing on some cold barren island, they must still be able to rearm a plane with lightning speed. Nothing is so impatient as a fighter plane when it has somewhere to go. To do this really well, you must do it in seconds and in the dark, if necessary. And there she is, ready for enemy strafing or for a dogfight across the skies. When you see that red flag baker, it means ammunition and danger. In this case, 1,000 pound bombs. Using a bomb is no job for nervous fingers. The aviation ordnance men know these big boys inside and out. They disassemble and assemble them and adjust the intricate mechanism of the fuses. In short, armament care for the planes and their crews and firepower from A to Z are the duties of the AOMs, the aviation ordnance men. These are the big ones, the deadly ones that can slice through the armor belt of a battleship or completely wreck the rudder gear of the most powerful fighting ship afloat. Like the torpedo man's mate, he must be familiar with the more than a thousand parts which make up this instrument of destruction. 
when he loads it into the belly of a torpedo plane, it must be able and willing to drop out of the skies, race toward its target through smooth or rough water, and score a hit. There she goes, moving on to the strip, ready to go out and give birth to a baby that will blow an enemy ship out of the water. A plane the size of this huge Coronado may carry an aviation ordnance from the border as a regular member of the crew. There isn't always smooth water when this job is done, but plenty of training can teach even this difficult work so it can be done safely. With the electric hoist keeping the torpedo under control below, it is eased up against its special wing rack. Just another duty for these aviation ordnance. Some of them may get to use the firepower they handle as bombardiers or free gunners blasting their way through the sky.